there's a new AI video generator called Hotshot.co. So today I'm just going to go through and see if it is any good. Let's have a look at it now. This is Hotshot.co and it's pretty new and we've got some quite amazing video coming out of it. This I really like. This is really believable. That's very good as well. Teddy bear, not so much about the cat or the uh, giraffe. This is believable. And this one looks like it can do liquids as well. And whiffs of smoke. So there is a prompt guide for you, which is here. You get three goes and you can upgrade to different levels here. This is just the free version. And it's got an API, which is interesting. There's the prompt guide. I'm not going to go through that, but it gives you an idea of how to use it. So I cheated with that. And what I did was I created some ChatGPT prompts for us to put into this to see what it can do. So I'm just going to copy one of those, put it in here and see how long it's going to take. Let's see, it's two. Are we going to push that? No. Let's make sure I've got it right. Or is it truncating what I've put in there? Let's have a look. No, it's just not very good at going up and down. Let's have a look at that. Back to there. Enhanced prompt is on. Let's kick it off. It tells me there's a minute to wait. This is one of the images I created before, which I must admit I wasn't too impressed with. It's not a great prompt, so probably my fault, but I put a dog running and it wasn't very good because it wasn't a dog running or it wasn't even running and the legs are all weird as well. This one, a bear skateboarding in New York. Well, it is kind of bear. That is kind of New York, but I wouldn't say that's great either. So I'm going to put it down to my terrible prompting. So hopefully the better prompt is going to get us a better video. And there we go. It's crunching over there. So let's just have a look again at the other videos on here in a little bit more detail. Look at the prompting. This is very good. Let's just have a look at size. I'm just going to save one of these videos and then see. Okay, 2.6. And let's have a look. Resolution is. So we're getting oh, 144 by 768. Not bad. Much better than most, actually. Let's come out of that. Looking pretty good. Again, a bit more of a decent prompt there. Yep. I think that's excellent. Fingers one. How many fingers he got? One, two, three. Yeah, looks looks a bit weird there, but apart from that, looks pretty good. This is excellent. Obviously, fuzzy background. Fingers okay. Yeah, good. Pair of sunglasses playing guitar, dancing, head banging. Don't think it's head banging, but in front of a jungle and a beautiful waterfall. Yeah, looks good. I'd be happy with that. I'm looking right in the front of the refrigerator and holds a carton of milk. Say milk on it. No, it says something else. Fingers are a bit weird. She looks very good though. Yeah, fingers are a bit morphy there, but very good. Again, a longer, not too happy with that. Even a bit bizarre. But fingers or hoofs are a bit bizarre on that one as well. This is very good. Asian girl with pixie, pink hair and a pixie cut is taking a selfie. That's definitely uh, what it is. Camera looks good as well. Chubby cat. Tubby cat, butcher cutting salmon in the butcher shop wearing an apron. Wow, that is very disturbing, but very cool. Let's just look at how good this is. It's pretty good. And this is the one I saw the first time, which looked excellent. Very good. He's got a weird thing on his shoulder. But apart from that, it is pretty good. Again, a longer, I think now it's, we see longer text prompts with a lot of these products. Which is very interesting. All right, I see where, where we are. Okay, we it. Right, so let's go back to the prompt because I can't remember what it was. Anthropomorphic giraffe. I can't say the word. Not giraffe. Wearing a red hoodie is sitting in a cosy living room drinking coffee with a mug while reading a newspaper. The room is filled with plants. A large window lets soft light, natural light, and the giraffe is smiling contently. Yeah, so we've got all the prompt in there. That is pretty amazing, isn't it, really? Kind of good. 
Well, definitely my prompting, I think. Let's try another one. Yeah, this is always good when we've got something that we know. Sonic the Hedgehog. Right, let's have a look at this one. Sonic the Hedgehog was racing through a level inspired by Minecraft with blocky terrain and pixelated trees. The scene is rendered in high fidelity PS3 graphics with Sonic's blue fur shining brightly as he speeds through a cubic environment. Would you like to script? No. Obviously pushing the credits, which is no problem at all. We quite understand. Let's go back to have a look at the other images. I mean, see where we are. A woman sitting on a train looking out the window. Yep, certainly is. Snowy mountain pass. Yeah, it's good. I think you could have wisps of smoke. Yeah, a little bit fuzzy, but yeah. Back camera wearing 3D glasses. It certainly is. Tsunami, tsunami <laughs> through an alley. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm probably going to cut to the end of this one. So I'm going to go quiet and then wait for it to finish. And here we go. It's just starting to load now. There we go. What have we got here? Sonic the Hedgehog. Racing through a level inspired by Minecraft with blocky terrain and pixelated trees. The scene made in, in high fidelity PS3 graphics and Sonic's blue fur shining as he spills through the cubic environment. Well, it's not crystal clear, but it is got, yeah. One hands is missing, but it's pretty good. Okay, so a quick blast through hotshot.co is it worth subscribing i don't know but it's certainly worth you testing it out and see what you can do with it on the free version if you like these videos please share and share and like and i'll look forward to seeing you on the next one